Hi right, guys, welcome back to 2FC, aka 2 Footballs Combined. Underdogs, were we now? Alright. Keep calling us underdogs and we'll keep proving you fuckers wrong. Eagles beat the Falcons 15-10. We go on to the NFC Championship game. And as we found out last night, it's the Vikings that are coming to Philadelphia. That was a crazy ass game. <laughs> One second to go. And Diggs, Stefan Diggs, just ridiculous. That's not the game I'm talking about or want to talk about. It's the Eagles versus the fucking Falcons. And I couldn't watch it live, live, um, because I'd work. But obviously recorded it, got in from work and watched it live. But not live, live. <laughs> I obviously sped through all the bollocks, all the adverts, all the fucking time bullshit. So I just saw the plays. So literally an hour. That's all I took watching this game. And it's the, yeah, fantastic. I don't know why you have so many fucking adverts in this game. But whatever. Second fucking play. Jay Ajay goes for a run. One of the defenders basically headbutts it out of his arm. And the Falcons have it. They recover it. Two plays in. Two fucking plays in. Ah. I'm glad I'm glad he kept coming, Jay, because he was our best our best running back during the game. So I'm glad he didn't take it to heart that he fumbled on his first first bit of possession but whatever they go 3-0 up fuck knows when I don't actually care I think it was in the first quarter uh, we get a touchdown though um, Foles had one wiped off he was down just before he was down by contact just before he put the ball in the end zone which is fair enough which uh, full from Fourth and goal from the one yard line. And Foles passes it to Blunt. Blunt runs all the way around the right hand side. Bang. And Mr. Jake Elliott, he missed the fucking extra point, so it was only 6 3. I didn't actually write as much down as you think. But we did get a couple of sacks, we got a few sacks, but. I didn't write them down like I normally do. But big up to everyone who sacked Matt Ryan. Well done. From a Falcons punt. Which they recovered. Well, how did this happen? Fuck yeah, Jesus Christ. So, from a punt. Was it... Yeah, Falcons punt. It's come flying. Yeah, yeah, I remember now. I remember. <laughs> they punt it. It bounces. Um, I can't remember who it was. It might have been Clements. Like, no, nope, don't want it. Gonna fucking let it bounce. It ends up bouncing off of Russell Douglas, then Patrick Robinson, and then Brahman or Brayman. Like, literally three different. Fucking diff <laughs> three different fucking Philadelphia Eagle players, and and yeah, Falcons recover, ridiculous. But uh, then they go in front, ten three, uh, ten three, ten six. Sorry, three yard touchdown. Matt Ryan gets it to Barnett. Oh, gets hit by Barnett. Bloody, I can't even read. I'm so tired. Um, yeah, three yard touchdown pass by Matt Ryan to Freeman. Uh, Derek Barnett gets to him and as he's getting hit, he throws the ball to Freeman who 
scores a touchdown, they score the extra point. Lovely. Just before half time, Mr. Elliott smashes in a 53 yard field goal, makes it 9 10 just before the half. And then two field goals throughout the third and fourth. One from 37 yards, one from 21 yards, and that's our game. The bit that was really, really, really shitting me up was the last minute and a half minute where they were camped in a, in a fucking red zone, basically. <laughs> oh, but it was the last, last Falcons play that really, really worried me. Jalen Mills outplays Julio Jones twice on this play. Um, both towards, if you're as the quarterback, they're on the right-hand side, so if they're receiving, they're on the left. Both over there, having a little bit of a, bit of a tussle, bit of a tussle, Julio Jones goes down from slipping. And Mills kind of gets in front of him. And Julio Jones pops back up. And as he pops back up, Matt Ryan goes to throw to him. Jalen Mills ain't having any of that. He's up in his face. Hands, helmet, everything up in Julio Jones' face. And it goes straight through his hands. Makes him miss the ball, which would have ended, probably would have ended our game. It probably would have ended our game. Because it would have gone to 17, uh, yes, it would have been 17-15, maybe 18-15 if they went for two points. But, yeah, we, we didn't have a lot of time left. I think it was about 40 seconds, 30 seconds after that. If it did, if it did go in, we'd have had about, yeah, 30, 40 seconds to try and get either a touchdown or a minimum field goal. But, thank fuck it didn't come to that. Uh... Defence, defence. It's alright. Not too bad actually. Couple of couple of mistakes that cost us yardage, I'd suppose I suppose is the best way to put it. Um we're supposed to be the number one rush defence. They were running through us like a hot knife through butter most of the time. Um a couple of stupid um, third and longs or not even third and longs but they get a long play out of it could have been stopped could have been helped um, there are some beautiful plays in this game two to Aguilar um, which I really really enjoyed it was a uh, it was a fake to either a J uh, a J or Blunt, might have been Clement, one of the running backs, pretends to pass it to him and Aguilar's run in the opposite direction and hands it quickly off to Aguilar. Twice I remember this happening and twice he ran for a good 15 to 40 yards. I think one was about 15, 20 yards. The other, he almost got the touchdown just before our touchdown. And I really like that trick play. I thought it was really, really nice. Um, Folsey, that's the Foles we've been looking for for the past three, four weeks. That is the Foles. He did, he did bits. As soon as he got that, as soon as he got the first few poor wobbly throws out of the way, he was accurate as fuck. And I can't even remember how many yards he ended up getting, but it was, an, it was, it was good. Very happy with that. I'm hoping and fingers crossed that he stays healthy for this run and that he can keep this up. Those are my two major concerns. I'm hoping, I'm hoping, I'm hoping. The uh, offensive line. Brilliant job. I'm not going to say his fucking first name because I, I'm not going to, but Vitae. There was plenty of plays that he could have done better at. 
but I'm going to stick with a positive on this one. There was one play that sticks out in my mind. Uh, one, there was two defenders out on the left hand side, if you're by time. So, see if I, both of them come running at him and he blocked both of them on his damn own while Foles got the throw away. Very, very happy with that, considering I'm, I've not been a big fan of Vitae this season, but that one play, good on him, well done. He didn't give a penalty away, he didn't hold anyone, he didn't face mask anyone, he literally just had his arms out, he was like, you ain't passing me, it ain't fucking happening. Very, very well done. Um, I think that's about it. Minnesota, Sunday night, the late game, which is good for me, I can watch it. <laughs> and I've got a friend who's a Minnesota Vikings fan over here in England. So he's going to get the uh, piss ripped out of him if we've been. But uh, no, the, apparently I've seen something on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, everything. Um, the, the last time we got to the Super Bowl, uh, what was that, 2005, 2004, 2005? My first ever Eagles game, by the way. If you're ever wondering why I support the Eagles, <laughs> it was that Super Bowl against the Patriots that we lost. Um, yeah, that Super Bowl, apparently we went through the Falcons and the Vikings before we got to the Super Bowl against the Patriots. It's kind of written in the stars, isn't it? It's kind of written in the stars that this is going to come down to a rematch and hopefully no cheating fingers crossed anywho thank you guys for watching please like share subscribe check out my social media i now am on facebook if you actually care as always fly eagles fly and peace